Hello and welcome to What I Crochet This Month, the monthly show where I show what I crochet this month. This month, or these months, being August, September and October of 2021. Yes, I got in a bit of a slack and I haven't made one of these in three months, but hopefully I'll make all of that up with just this big video uh, covering everything I did in the last three months. And consider it kind of an anniversary special because uh, if I recall correctly, September of 2020 was the first episode of What I Crochet This Month. So yeah, I've got a lot to cover, so let's jump straight in. Last time we uh, finished with my flag obsession and I continue that in uh, August, first of all, I made the flag of the UK, the Union Jack or the Union flag. I don't really know the difference, but I think it turned out pretty okay. Next up, I made the flag of Czechia, which was uh, really uh, fun to like work out how to do this triangle. And then came the flags with the crests in them, which was really tough and I started off with Spain and I went for a kind of a yeah, mosaic like pixel art crest. Um, I, I, I think from a distance it looks okay but I'm not really convinced and this is what the back, uh, what the back, back looks like. Um, yeah, best not to show that. <laughs> then comes the flag of Andorra. Yeah. I think it looks great. It looks a bit more like a skull than a crest, but you know, it works. Then the flag of Portugal, uh, which I'm actually really proud of. This looks exactly as I pictured it would, uh, so that's good. As you can see, also uh, a bit of that pixel art, but also like not pixel art. <laughs> It's, it's kind of a blend between the pixel art style and the just line style. Then comes the flag of Liechtenstein. It was a bit easier than the last couple of flags with the big crests because it has such a small crest. Then comes the flag of San Marino, I think, which was uh, also a bit of a challenge, but I think it turned out pretty okay. Then. Definitely the easiest one, uh, the flag of Malta, with just a little cross in the corner. And those were all the flags I made in August, but that's not everything I made in August. Somewhere in August I went to see The Suicide Squad, the new James Gunn movie, and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted to see it again, and for my second viewing I crocheted this little Sebastian the Rat. So I used a pattern uh, called Rat Pattern from Laura Gillard for this, or Laura Gillard. And uh, I think it's a great pattern. I absolutely love it. As always, I will link it in the description. Then I finally finished the sixth do Doctor. And uh, I think he looks... I, I pictured him much, much better, but you know, perhaps it's the best I can do, so I'm not too disappointed with him, but I'm pretty disappointed with him. Also, his sleeves don't match up at all. Um, yeah, to be fair, it was a really hard design to nail, but I think I can do better, but I don't know, so Let's just move on really quick. <laughs> Continuing my The Suicide Squad obsession, I tried to crochet Ratcatcher 2 from the movie and I'm, I'm actually really happy with this. The only thing I'm not too happy about is that her mask looks more like a plague doctor than a gas, a, a gas mask. But apart from that, I think the hood turned out really good. I think the shoulder pads and the like um, the coat and her belts turn out really good and I'm really happy with uh, how she turned out. 
Also, I used the same uh, yarn for her outfit as for the rats, so, you know, that's a fun bit of a, yeah, a fun easter egg, I guess. Also in August, I finished this meerkat, uh, which I can't fit into frame, but, you know, he's, uh, he's really cool. I especially like what I did with the eyes, um, and uh, he sits up straight. Uh, he's wearing a little turtleneck sweater and uh, he, yeah, his arms are fun to play with and uh, I, I I really like this. This is a pattern from Zumi Gurumi by Joke Vermeer and from that same book I have this guy which is a fox uh, he doesn't sit up straight unfortunately and um, Personally, I'm not a big fan of these uh, arms and legs that just dangle, um, but I really like the face. Not a big fan of the eyes. I try to do my best, but I think they look a bit derpy. Um, they remind me of a Weasel from The Suicide Squad. You know, all things considered, I think he still looks pretty great and I like the tail. And that was everything I made in August. I know it seems like a lot, but to be fair, most of these things I, st I started in July and I finished in August, so then I had to include them in the August video. Then in September, I made one final flag, which is the flag of Vatican City. I think the crest looks a bit off, but you know, I think it's just a really hard flag to nail. Continuing my The Suicide Squad obsession, I crocheted Polka Dot Man, uh, who was really easy and really fun, and I think he looks great. Not a big fan of his visor, but it does a trick, and you can actually take it off. It's just sewed on to the back of his head. And uh, I especially like all the little polka dots on his suit. And the last Suicide Squad figure I crocheted, but I am planning on doing more, is King Shark. And uh, I, I actually quite like how it turned out. The only thing that I'm not a big fan of is how easily you can see where his face uh, transitions into his body. That would have been a lot smoother in my uh, imagination. And uh, I, I used a pattern for the face, just a shark pattern. Um, I don't know it by heart, but as always, I will link it in the description and I will pop it just on screen here. I also used the, the back fin from that pattern. And I, I especially like my little beer belly that I uh, put in there because he does have kind of a dad bod in the, in the movie, right? So I wanted to, to make that clear in the crochet figurine. And finally in September I also made this parrot, also from the Zumigurumi book. And uh, I think his wings are a bit too broad, like he looks a bit muscular, which wasn't really the point, but it could be worse. But overall I really like this design and uh, especially all the tail feathers and the colours, I really love it. And that was everything I made in September. Now for October, I put most of my energy into this giraffe, also from Zumi Um And yeah, I th uh, he also doesn't really fit uh, in the frame. Uh, I, I like his, uh, his mane and his like antlers, or what do you call it with a giraffe? Um, I think his eyes are pretty cute. Um, and he's got a, li a bit of a couple of spots on his body. I also made a slight mistake with the left arm, but you know, let's just call it a birth mark or something. So that's the giraffe. There's one more thing that I made, which is this. And uh, you absolutely cannot tell what it is, but it's a lightsaber. It's a green lightsaber. It's really long, uh, it doesn't fit into frame, so I'm just going to do some pickup shots. Here you can see it in full length. 
it is about 120 centimeters because the internet told me that the blade of a lightsaber should be 90 centimeters and the hilt of a lightsaber should be about 30 centimeters. So in total it is 120 centimeters, but that just seems a bit too long to me. I don't know. The way I did this is I crocheted a sleeve and then I put a PVC pipe into it. My goal was to make something soft that you can kind of play with, uh, have fights with, but the PVC pipe is quite thick and is a bit heavier than I anticipated and if you hit someone it's probably going to hurt you're probably going to get a bruise and if you hit someone in the head with it there's probably a chance you're going to get a concussion so it's not the ideal toy maybe if I use some uh, thinner PVC piping but you know it, it still kind of works my only complaint really is that you can kind of see the PVC pipe through the crochet work. You can see the gray uh, bits here. So for my next lightsaber, because I'm going to make two more of these in different colors, uh, I'm going to uh, make the crochet itself a bit wider. Um, I should probably also make the lightsaber a bit shorter, but I want all of my lightsabers to be the same size and I don't want to do this one over again. And that's everything I made these past few months. Thank you very much for watching and for sticking around with my channel for the past year. Hopefully in the next year uh, I can do some more consistent videos. Um, my, my main goal is to just keep making uh, what I crochet this month, every month. Yeah, hopefully that'll work. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.